Tattoos from Instagram this week. Guar edition. Let's get it started this week with this sucky odorous from Mona Lisa tattoo and Wapiton ND. I love a twist on a sucky panther, and this is objectively the best sucky panther ever made. Top of this week's list, it's Scumdog by Elderly underscore Lady, aka Josh Howard. I love this guy's work, I love this tattoo, and bonus, flash pages. Starting us out this week, it's SpongeBob Odorous and Beefcake to Patrick by, uh, I don't really know, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kinda moving right now in my personal life, I haven't had enough time to research, but these things are awesome. Look, I'm gonna be honest right here and now, I would stand still and let you slap me in the face with an oil tanker if I can find out who did these tattoos. How about this Circle Jerks Mosh and Ball Sack from Dustin Cameron Tattoos in Portland, Oregon. I am absolutely awestruck and dumbfounded. I gotta make up a word because I don't even know what to say here. This tattoo is clearly in scooby dooby dooblius Our first tattoo this week is a tattoo I did by Tomas Garcia in Barcelona and Pittsburgh. And I gotta be honest here, Tomas Garcia is now officially my favorite tattoo artist of all time. I love the psychedelia, I love the geometry, I love odorous. I don't even know what to say. Like y'all, this is the example here. This is what we're trying to be. Tattooers tattooing tattoos, tattooively on tattooists to tattoo, tattooing. Oh gee, Slutso. Do you really know Gwarm? <laughs> Mr. Trampooey in this industry, original tattoo designs are like assholes. Perhaps some of Gwarm's designs are a little too original. I agree, they are too original. Bingo! Oh, 13 views? Shit, if I don't monetize, I'm never gonna get off this planet! Oh, geez, John, that's too bad. I guess we got to get in the studio and make another top five list. And for you kids at home, Uncle Slutso's got a present for you too. He likes to call it the homogenizer. 